Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, this is going to be a little review on the Harbor Freight uh, drywall lift. I had it about five to eight years or so. Uh, I've used it a lot. I've probably put a hundred sheets drywall on ceilings, and figured it was time for a review because I I know it was fairly cheap, uh, but it's lasted a long time. Nothing's broken, and it still works perfect. So I'll, I'll talk about a couple little. Uh, features it has and a couple little tips. First thing um, that's really important is this break. These are 12 foot sheets and I'm hanging them by myself so as I carry them in to uh, get it hooked on these arms I want to make sure that this doesn't roll back any as I'm kind of maneuvering that sheet on. Uh, if the brake's not on this thing's just going to roll right back and I'm never going to get it hooked onto these uh, arms right here. Another thing is this little clasp right here. Make sure that when you uh, tip the sheet back you always clasp it and this is an extra um, it's it's not not to keep this flat this is kind of extra precautions for transport you use this one only when you have this taken apart that this does not slide out so this is really not your, your latch for when you're hanging the drywall, only for transport. This is the one uh, that you use to you flip this over, lock it down so it doesn't tip on you. Uh, these extension arms, uh, they're, they're actually quite long and work perfect for 12 footers. I mean there's no sag at the ends at all when you crank this thing up. Um, it comes in three pieces. Uh, no piece is really uh, heavy at all. Uh, this probably here being the heaviest piece, which it's maybe 40 pounds is all. Um, I think I paid maybe $179 for it or so uh, back maybe eight years ago. And it still works perfect. So I'm using it here today to finish out this basement and thought I'd give you guys a little bit of review on it. Um, I think the cost to rent one one time was maybe 45 bucks a day and just basically pays for itself after just a couple days but like I said I brought this sheet in here by myself um, make sure that you know what paper side uh, you're gonna want on this so that when you flip it over you have the right side up one way to tell is it has the little X's uh, other way this is a lighter colored paper on this side make sure you don't put it on upside down so I had to walk down through a hallway and once I got in this room, you're not going to be able to flip it around. You need to make sure that you're coming into the room and turning and putting it on the right way. So you got to uh, pre-think out how you carry this into the room. But I'm just going to flip this one over. And make sure that you're really square with your walls. So when you flip it over, you don't damage the corner on your drywall. There we go. And now once that's flat, I'm going to flip this latch that way there's no, I can't bump it or do anything where this will flip back off of there. And then you want to make sure you're pretty well even uh, with your studs so that when you crank it up, like there's a, you can see an electrical box right there. Uh, when I crank it up, I want to make sure that I'm clear of that and that you don't catch it on the end. And also the the sheets have to be pretty pretty well centered on this thing so that it doesn't tip one way or another. Because when you're going up, then it will start catching studs. Uh, right now, you can take the brake off. And you can move it around a little bit easier. You don't have to worry about it sliding out from under you. And then just start cranking up. And if you let go of the crank or the wheel, whatever you want to call it, the drywall is not going to drop. Uh, it has this little brake right here. The leave goes up. And that's what releases it so you can get the. Um, drywall lift back down in position. Sounds like it probably 
I use a little bit of oil other than that. And then once I get a little bit close, I just kind of double check, make sure I'm not going to hit anything. I usually cut my drywall uh, a half inch narrower than the very top of the ceiling. That gives you a quarter inch of play on each side. It's pretty tight. Um, don't you can crank this pretty hard, and you're not going to damage the drywall. Uh, you might break the cable or something, but. Uh, you don't need to crank this too hard. Now basically what I'll do now, I flip these down and then I'll start screwing the outside, work my way inside and then all you do to lower this is you just lift this brake up and you lower this back down to position, flip this back over, tip it and now you're ready for your next sheet. Uh, like I said for the money, uh, I don't think you can beat it. Um, it's not the highest quality thing. If you're a pro, you're probably going to want a better one. But for the average homeowner, uh, that's a heck of a deal. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.